Yeah, so I, I've only met Brock in the one time. So you spun it too, but like in a way more subtle way. Like she's gotta, she's gotta be like, wait a minute. Yeah. Boston, big Boston fan. God. I was like, agreed that we hate Patriots. And I mean, the Celtics and the Red Sox, any of them. When Jesse Bates scored that touchdown, he scored. He ripped their Christmas tree out of the house, left it on the tree. What's up, Josh McCougar Show fans? Back here for another episode. If you guys noticed, the set is 100% different. Uh, my guest tonight, Taylor Bashadi, is our first guest on this lovely, I, I can wear my loudmouth pants and everything's great. If you guys notice, we're working out some kinks, so there might be a little roll in the screen. You just might have to deal with it. But you, have, but you get to listen to me and Taylor. Just it's all part of the ambiance, though. Yes. You know, it's, it's, it's what makes it unique. It's a living room talk show. It's my television that usually has This Is Us yeah. and me crying on it. I just recently watched uh, oh God. A Dog's Purpose. Have you seen this movie? No, but I can't do dog movies. I'm like so in love with my dog. Literally, my dog skip. I can't do any of them. I was like, brushing um, my teeth and spit out through my nose the toothpaste because I was crying so hard. Oh, wow. When the dog oh, died geez. for the first time. Ugh. And I will, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen The Dog's Purpose, the dog dies five separate times. Oh, jeez. But it's, it's reincarnated. It's the movie ever. But I can't it's, watch a dog die cry, five times, like, times sweet, let alone once. happy cry. It's yeah. very, it's so, it's so sweet. It'll make you either never want a dog or love your dog even more. So I have real bad night terrors. My wife has to deal with them, Amanda. You poor thing. Um, Yet another thing. Yes, one more thing. Uh, body hair, <laughs> night terrors. <laughs> so many things. Uh, a love of whiskey, all that kind of stuff. Um... I had n nightmares that night from watching A Dog's Purpose because I was so emotional about owning a dog and then realizing in 12 to 15 years that dog would eventually die. But they bring you so much happiness I in know. the interim and they're always with you forever. That's Did what they say about babies. You. <laughs> Do you have a dog? Yes, Henry. What kind of dog is he? Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. That's what my brother has. He is my heart. Yeah. Like literally he is my heart. They are the sweetest dogs too. When my parents, my parents are in town for like usually four months out of the year. In LA? Yeah, Whoa. so they, they have a place in Manhattan Beach. Okay. I don't, I'm not allowed to stay there when they're not there though. Anyway, that's a whole other issue. But the only reason Mr. why Mrs. I picked Bichon, them up. <laughs> Listen, this is BS because if your daughter could stay there, we, we could all could stay, stay there. there and party. I'm just throwing myself in the mess. I'll <laughs> gladly house it. Yeah. Well, the only reason why I pick him up from the airport is I'm like, well, is Henry coming? <laughs> and then I'm, usually he yeah. is. For the most part, he always is. And yeah. so then I'll be there. But if he's not. You're out. You're out. You're out. Taxi uh, cabs, here we come. <laughs> The best part is is paying for my parents' Uber because I don't have to actually pick them up anywhere anymore. Like, there's this thing called Uber. Go to the spot, meet it. It was it, it took them a while to figure out right. the actual Right. We app. tried that with my dad. No. Oh, no. Well, how do we know that this is the right person? Have we done a background? Like, what... what? Where do you think he's coming from? I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. Just get in the car. I'm not going to get in a stranger's car. I'm were like, you, okay. Were you born and raised in Georgia? In Atlanta. In yes. Atlanta. Okay. And you went to Georgia. Yes. And were you in a sorority at Georgia? I was. I was a Kappa Kappa Gamma. Kappa 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 Gamma. I know. Wait, um, how do you know that song? <laughs> That's the most concerning part. We did. Uh, I was an SAE at Penn State. Oh my gosh, those were our brother or yeah, brother fraternity. So Pi Phi was our like sister fraternity or sorority at at Penn State, but we were very close to a lot of Kappa Kappa Gammas, and we would do their bid night all the time. And when the girls got in, they would do that yep. that clap, and I loved that clap. I know I know a lot of guys are just like this is the seventh layer of hell, but it's a very entertaining clap. Um, and were you, when you were in college, was this, was going to, to be in the NFL or work in sports or be a sports broadcaster of that? Was that your goal? Was that the dream job? Or? I was actually an accounting major. Get out yes, of here. Yes, I know. Guess what I, I was? I, what? I was a business logistics and international business major. Oh my God, And no. I'm hosting a talk Wait, show in I my did, apartment. I did a minor in business, logistics. international business. See, there you go. Yes. I was in my, like, literally my last semester. It was March, April, like all the MACC big, big five are like coming in to talk to us. Okay. And I'm thinking, I cannot do this. I can't be in a cubicle. Like, somebody yeah. help. Yeah. So I applied for an internship that summer at the CBS affiliate in D.C. Okay. I was on the nightly, because nobody wanted to do the 11 o'clock news. So What were there you doing was on me. the 11 o'clock news? Hard news. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got robbed. Oh, it's on, it's on YouTube. We got <laughs> robbed our, my very last day there because we, we wanted to do a story on the most sketchy neighborhoods in D.C. You got so robbed? there we are out there. By the way, I had to wear a dress every day. So I'm in a dress and that, I'm like... That over here is from Northern Virginia. Virginia I'm in a dress. We are in Central, an Central interesting Virginia, area. I'm like jumping out of the news truck and I'm like, you know, I was more concerned about flashing the whole neighborhood than <laughs> grabbing Pretty my... Style. Yes, than yeah. grabbing my purse yeah. with my phone in it, everything in it. But I was like, you know, we're probably only be in this neighborhood for a little bit. Ooh, it's a little rough. 
So I thought we were going to get two and interviews. Robbed your oh, so we're standing at the corner about to grab an interview. And this guy on a bike comes up and he's like, don't pretend like you're talking to me. Are you guys the news people? Yeah, your car is getting broken in two. Like, literally, we were a block away, a block away. He's like, I can't stay and talk. At least they're going to know that I was talking to you. But go back. We went back within 45 seconds. I kid you not. They had craned open the door, took out all the video equipment, taken out my purse. So I'm a millennial here. So this is what the good <laughs> thing is, is that I can honestly say this is the one good thing that millennials could do. At the time, nobody knew about Find My iPhone. So I was like, I've got it, guys. So I did find my iPhone and we're following it. And everybody's like, don't, the police are like, no, we're not going to go in there by ourselves. We need backup. Like, this is a bad part of town. Like, where your iPhone says you guys are, no Who was way. the producer that approved this on, like, this stand-up, this Let's remote? Let's say she's no longer there. <laughs> um, okay, so we, I'm like, come on, guys. Like, and our, our photographer who had all of his video equipment and, like, yeah. all of his, like, SIM card, like, SID cards, like, with all of his, like, video from years. And he's like, I've got to find my stuff. Oh, so no. the police are like, we're not going to go with you. So I put on hatches. That was his name. Uh, big, like, coat. And we are out in the hood. And we're, like, trying to find the phone. And the stuff that we saw, like, going on in the cars, like, because it was, my phone was in a trailer. But we saw the house that they took all the stuff into. And he was like, I'm going to go in and get it. Anyway, long story short, we did find my phone behind the trailer. Phone had been dumped. My wallet was there, but with everything taken out. <laughs> but I did really want my wallet still, though, so I was glad I got that. <laughs> Um, the cops didn't even go with you? Wouldn't come with us because they said it was too bad a part of a town. They didn't have enough people for backup. And so then we got back to the news station and, oh, Hatch got half of all of his like um, SID cards because they didn't want that stuff. So that was thrown yeah. away. He jumped into the dumpster. Literally jumped into the dumpster. Ugh. And then news. we became the 11 o'clock newscast my last <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taylor at 11. A local news truck gets robbed. It was us. Yeah. So when so you you interned at the CBS affiliate, they put you on camera. Well, no, I was just off camera. But oh. so our morning meetings, morning meetings started at three p.m. Oh, okay. So what I would do is I would like get in at like eight and go up to the sports department and see if they needed anybody to come. Like, were you ride always along. a sports girl? Like, yeah. was that a yeah? You loved it. Like I grew up like loving sports. Okay, so Georgia football yeah. is your family, and you're not Falcons fans. You're Ravens fans. Mm -hmm. Why? Because my dad, my dad's from Baltimore. Oh, God, right. Got it, got it, got it. Nobody's perfect. Okay. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Listen, I got a Steelers fan's house right now, okay? We're, we're, I'm kind of pissed that We appreciate Amanda... the rivalry. That's my favorite line. We love the rivalry. Yeah, we appreciate the rivalry. Yeah, it's a fun rivalry. But that is true. Like, the, it's I think very it's the best true. rivalry in the NFL. Hands down. Right. Hands down. Like, I would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other major rivalry. Like, yeah. we are the best rivalry. Over the last 15 years, I think the best rivalry games the league has seen, 100%. Yeah, and we're not, like... Steelers fans and Ravens fans, like, you're not, like, casual fans where, like, you're a Cowboys fan. Like, you, so a lot of, there's a lot of jump on bandwagons Cowboys fans. Yeah. I'm not saying all Cowboys fans are that, but there are Good a lot try. of. Good try. There are a lot of yeah. jump ons. Sure. You can't be, like, a half half Steelers fan, half Ravens no, fan. Like, no, no, you no. are diehard, usually. And if you're from Baltimore or you're from Pittsburgh, there isn't another team. Mm -hmm. Like, there, you don't cheer for another. Like, people come out to L.A. and they're like, well, you know, I was born and raised in so-and-so, but now there's an L.A. team, so I'm a Rams fan. I could never be a Dodgers mm -hmm. fan. I could mm -hmm. never be a Kings fan. I could never be a Rams or a Chargers fan. It's just, that's not in my DNA. I wasn't, I can't I will say, teams. though, since working in the league, but before that, before I started working for NFL Network, I was like, oh, gosh, I could only ever love one team. You kind of start to, like, fall in love with the different teams yeah. for different reasons, and you definitely start to, like, fall in love with the players who is some of you i mean end up becoming some of your friends and so you you it's weird like how long you end have you up been there? for your friends how this is my third there? year third year there and what like, was like i love going to cover the rams i love going to cover the chargers like i get excited about it because i get to see some friends you know what is what has been i guess in those three years a major highlight or i, I, I honestly want to know because i asked damashek the same thing dave damashek who's been on the show awesome guy in nfl network what was like the audition process like because the nfl network for a lot of the population as far as broadcasting or anything is a dream job. It's a dream situation. So I had my, I just moved here like the day before. I knew I was getting a job at NFL Network. Didn't know like what capacity, like to what capacity, like didn't know if I was gonna be in production or what. So they put me on in the middle of the newsroom for an on-camera audition. On your first like, day? An, oh yeah, before I had officially my first day. So like I hadn't signed a contract. From prompter or just? Yes, like they gave me like a few minutes to like read the scripts. Okay. And then I had to like, Fake live tossed Ian Rappaport, oh, NFL wow. Network Insider Ian Rappaport. 
<laughs> so obviously it's the producer in my ear, not Ian Rappaport. Right. And I think we were talking about Have Ryan you ever Fitzpatrick. With... Ah, your boy Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. But this is when he was with the Jets. Okay. And we didn't know if he was going to resign. So we had just gotten in that news that morning. Of course, I had been trying to navigate my way to NFL Network. I had not seen that news yet. Like, I'm like nervous. Right. And I was tossing to Ian, asking him questions about it, and then the line went dead. Oh, no. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Good, I, you know, I was like, okay, so you basically just had to like recover yeah. and then move on. Okay. And so I guess that was what I did. And so then that's how I, I guess they took me out of production and decided that I was going to be like on camera doing updates. And then since then, like my role has grown, but it's, yeah. it's hard to get your role to grow. I'm telling you, like yeah. every like assignment that I get, I'm like, yes. And are you, how often are you there? Is that full time? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Is there going to be a Taylor Brashotti podcast, a Taylor? I don't know. Yeah. I, I like Collider. Are you kidding me? I love coming on Collider. I feel like you and Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> Taylor Bashotti, Lawrence Taylor. That would be a fun podcast. Tyrod I mean, he's Taylor. Kind of a, There's a lot of Taylors in the league. Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod. Tyrod. Excuse me. Um, like my three Taylors. John, okay, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Taylor Bashotti. Wait, Joe Thomas has a new podcast. Joe Thomas. Jo hey, that's your buddy. Hey now. I love Joe Thomas. I Even love though he's Joe a Thomas. Cleveland Brown. So that's what I'm saying. He would have been an See, awesome stealer. That's what I'm saying. He's done a great job of exposing himself to the media where you yeah. can kind of like fans, even if you're not a Browns fan, you fall in love with him. Like you're like, wow, you are an awesome person. I want to hang out with you. That's what's, what he's done. What's the like, okay, so you're an accounting major. You, you go to the affiliate, then you get the NFL. But I Network went back job. to school. Oh, you went back to school for yeah, broadcasting. Yeah, I, I had to go back. So after after I got robbed. That's the, the dream, day, though, is me telling my parents I get senior robbed, year. I drive back from D.C. in my like in the car, and I'm like, pissed because I got offered a job at the CBS affiliate in DC to be a digital producer, host, whatever. Okay. Um, and I told my parents like, no, we're good. You can't do that. By the way, when I got robbed, they were like out of the country. They didn't even know about it. But of course they decided <laughs> that I absolutely have to come back to go back to school. Yeah. Makes sense. So I drove back the night before I started school that next day for broadcasting. And I finished like my broadcasting degree in one year. So I did it. That's all I you did. see a broadcasting degree? No, like it was so many hours. I, oh, I think man. I had 22 hour semesters. Like it was. Yikes. Nuts. I had 22 hour semesters too, but they weren't for school. They were more just like school and then partied for the other 16, yeah. you know, like yeah. 18. What's, what's like a 22 hours throughout the semester. Oh, the semester. <laughs> yes, correct. I remember calling my parents and being like, so I'm going to be a part-time student again this semester. And they're like, oh God, <laughs> I, I still have the recurring nightmare that I don't have enough credits to graduate and I oh, have I to, have that all the time. Do you have that? No, I have I have a math one where I'm like math. Yes, it's always yes, math. It's always math. And you're in and you're looking at these equations and you're like, no. Nope. I, I don't care if there was a gun to my head. I don't even know how to start it. No. Like these equations are like like medical like I, I didn't even I don't know what to do with them. And I, I wake up and I am sweating bullets. Talk about the night sweats. Whew. Yeah. Thank God I only got my dog in bed with me. My I mean, wife my has God. to do with night I've ruined it. pillows. I, I have night sweat I have night sweats. I have night terrors. Sometimes I've got I'll, it all. Sometimes I'll wake up and go take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> I don't take a shower, though I should. You should. Because we can honestly yeah. we can never have white bedding. And it's like my dream. I used to have white bed all white bedding. So I still have white bedding. What color do you sweat? Uh, it's <laughs> It's, I mean, it sweats through. I mean, when it's you sweat weird. all it's the time. Like, it's like, Something you know, when you get the, you know there. when you wear a white <laughs> yeah. t-shirt too many times and like, you, you know, you pits. see the pit But stains. I don't sweat it's my like pits. It's like pit stains, but they're like permanently on our pillows. Oh yeah. boy. I, I don't know if it's drool. That, you know how sometimes it dries and like the outline is not clear? It's Speaking of sponsorships, maybe we've got some sheets, some white sheet companies yeah. that can sponsor Yes. Them. Who There's, can we you know, get? Night sweats. Here we go. Serta. <laughs> I think it's a mattress company. Eh, it's close enough. What's the? <laughs> is there like a Sheets brand that? Uh, there's, there's, so par many. there's parachute, but that's a little bougie for the Josh Bakuga show. I'm not sure they. <laughs> yeah, be tell into me it. about it. <laughs> Brought to you by Loudmouth Call. Is um, is working for the NFL intimidating? Yeah, I, I mean, in a sense, you are always very careful with the way that you say things. You have to make sure that. Have you met Goodell, Roger Goodell? Yes, I have. Okay. But is he, he a robot or a man? No, he's actually like an awesome person. Okay. Like, okay. I, again, like I don't feel like he opens himself up to the media in, like, the, in a way that Joe Thomas does, where like, right. you're just very like open and authentic. But I feel like he kind of can't be like that okay. just because of the role. Yeah. Listen, if you're going to be the person that's always, you have to decide people's punishments. Are people ever going to really like you that much? Like, you're the, basically the principal of the school. Yeah. Do students or like, like that, the, the vice principal? principal, that like terrible vice principal? Looking at you, Dr. Ruth Ann Madoff, eighth grade. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, 
Is there has there been like a, a a situation where you've been on like on the field for an NFL game or a fan has said something kind of crazy to you? Because I would imagine. Oh, the like social media is like the worst. Oh my god, <laughs> I get the meanest comments every day. I Do you really? Like, F you, how come you left the Redskins out of this report? I'm like, because we weren't reporting on the Redskins. I don't know. Like, make news. Do you think that sports has become, like politics has become sports where everybody has a team now, and if you're not part of that team, you you're not, you can't be a fan? Like, okay, let's just say I'm a fan of the Steelers and you're a fan of the Ravens in politics. I'm a Democrat, you're Republican, whatever the case may be. We can't, like... Well, why'd you say that the Ravens were Republicans? <laughs> I didn't... I... <laughs> I the, the, I, Have you ever been to Baltimore? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen The Wire. Um, you a do great ha- show. Do you hate The Wire? Or do you like The Wire? I love The Wire. Okay. Um, is do you do you kind of see? Because do you know who like Jay and Dan are? The Canadian guys. Have you ever seen yeah, them before? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I I don't think they worked in the states because they were so funny and people don't really take their teams lightly enough in the states to tell jokes about them. Do you, do you get that? I think that there's like a mix. So like. Again, I'm gonna, I mean, I've been on a million podcasts and a lot of them I like do really love and like they're lighthearted. I think that you've gotta, you, you gotta have a mix. You gotta yeah. have a mix. You can't be too lighthearted where you're not getting the news. Like people want to, they're coming to your podcast for a reason. They wanna know what happened. Yeah. Most people don't have time, like I do, which is pathetic, to sit in front of their TV for 12 hours on a Sunday. <laughs> you know, like that's not normal and I agree. Some days I'll literally get done with work on a Sunday and be like, what is my life? Because yeah. especially with the London games, you're getting up at 6.30 our time. Oof. You don't end until Do you eight. just sit in front of the red zone? Is that what you do? Or do you? Well, so I usually have four monitors going. Four? One with the red zone. This is one my dream. with like <laughs> a Ravens game. Oh yeah, no, okay. like I'm intense. And I'm literally looking at research notes, like updating them, like tweeting about them, like doing them for myself just because I feel like you have to like, you've got to stay on top of it. And so when people are like, well, do you cover or do you follow other sports? I'm like, are you on... <laughs> What are you on? Like, I don't have time. So you just watch Georgia football on Saturday, and that's it. You I mean, really... I'll, I'll watch the other, like, I'll watch the LSU game. I'll watch the Alabama game. Of course, I love watching the team that's going to eventually beat us. Yeah. Um, do you hate, <laughs> do you hate, I hate Alabama. I know, uh, right? They're do you, worst. do you? They're like the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, you can say it, the that. Patriots. You, <laughs> oh, you can say it. I can say it. Uh, the Patriots are the worst. Um, do, <laughs> sorry, NFL Network. Uh, do you? Do you ever feel like when you're watching, say, an NFL Network or an ESPN or something like that during maybe a Super Bowl season or something like that, that the retreading of information, it's almost impossible to re-say it in an interesting way Oh, again. totally. When I, especially with news updates. Are you kidding me? Like, I'll be talking about the same stories for six different updates, and I've got to have a different lead. But it's all the same story. So yeah. Le'Veon Bell did not show. Yeah, like, it's the worst. So my most recent update I did was, don't worry, Mike Tomlin. Le'Veon Bell doesn't just not respond to you. He also doesn't text Ben Roethlisberger back. Yeah, that's true. Because like that was the most recent news today. So it's like obviously we're getting back to the Le'Veon Bell thing. But you've got to, you've got to like do something different just to kind of like brand it as your own or like make people pay attention because some people that are watching the network have been watching it for do three you, or four hours. Do you think that because you were like an accounting major, clearly you like preparation, clearly you like numbers, you like kind of stats mm-hmm. that sports kind I of think fit that, into you? Yes, I well, yeah. In a weird way, but accounting is so different. But I, I just feel like, especially being a female, like, yeah, I'm going to pull the female card, but especially being, like, a female in sports, it's so easy for people to be like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's never played a down in her life. Guilty. I've, I've never, never played, played a down, down in my, my life. life. <laughs> but I feel like guys can get away with it easier than girls can yeah. in this fact that you won't get as, like, attacked if I were to just say, I think that Patrick Mahomes should be the MVP this year. I, if I said that, people would destroy me on Twitter. Like, this dumb, mm, yeah. mm, mm, doesn't even know what she's talking about. Sorry about those tweets. If I back it up with stats. <laughs> if I back it up with stats and I say something like, okay, the only three other quarterbacks that have had the same touchdown ratio that he has, which is 31 touchdowns in the first 10 games, have gone on to make MVP that season, which is Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. Right. I can't remember who the third one is. Ben have one. Um, was it? Ben Roethlisberger. I just throw his name in there. Um, Have won MVP (laughs) that year. Like, then that, like, it kind of validates what you're saying. Like, I have to, I feel like I need to back stuff up with statistics in order to not be attacked. Don't take this the wrong way, but when you say attacked, I'm sure it's like, oh, she's just a dumb blonde. Yeah, oh, totally. Or worse. (laughs) 
That, that would be a nice way of saying it. In fact, I almost might be like, wow, thank you for the compliment. If, you, if, if you're not doing this in three or five years, like what, what would you want to do? Is there a dream scenario of another job? Is there a, if, when you got back into broadcasting, was there, you know, I mean, obviously working at the NFL Network, a dream scenario for a lot of people. And I don't want to like throw you under a bus of like, I don't want to work at the NFL Network anymore. I don't want to get you in trouble. But is there like a dream scenario, a dream job that you would love to do? Or was there somebody you looked up to? Because listen, when I was 10 years old, I wanted to be Alex Trebek. Everybody, I've said it a billion times. I wanted to, I want to host Jeopardy. That's my dream job. So I've always wanted to host a game show or host a talk show or host a talk show with games on it, which is basically what this is. That's why I turned my apartment into a talk show. My wife said to live through it. It's fantastic. Um, has there is there a a Taylor Bashadi kind of situation that you dream There's about? There's never what it been is? like I'm kind of jealous of the fact that you've had like one person that you've kind of <laughs> looked up to and like emulated. You wanted to model your career after theirs. Like there really isn't one person. I definitely there's aspects of people's career where I'm like, oh wow, I wish I could do something like that. Right. Um, I think that doing like hosting Thursday night football, Sunday night, you know, like the morning shows. I think that's awesome because it kind of gives you a variety of like what you're doing like you're not only just reporting the hard news but you're shooting setting up yeah you're shooting like you're shooting the shit and like you're setting up the major storylines as well as hitting on the player stories I feel like it's really important to kind of make the NFL grow globally yeah in order to do that we need to take the helmets off and get to know these players better because a lot of them are doing so many great things in the community but the only ones that we focus on are the bad eggs are like the ones that are doing something bad because it's easy to just that's pretty much all news. You yeah. Know? Is there a guy, I mean, you mentioned Joe Thomas. Uh, is there a, a football player that you've met, helmet off or whatever, that's been amazing that you've been like, this guy I would love to interview anytime. Personality is incredible. I mean, it could be multiple guys. There's so many. Honestly, yeah. like the majority that I interview, I'm kind of like taken back by how like charismatic and how much they genuinely care and want to give back. Melvin Gordon, for example, from the yeah. Chargers. I was at my first. Wisconsin, right? He went to Wisconsin. Uh, did, we, did we go to Wisconsin? I can't remember. Dad looked that up. No. I don't think so. I think he went to. I think he Stats, went to, Dad! I think he went to school in the South, right? I can't remember. But anyway, he was the first person that, like, I met at the Chargers food bank that they were doing, where they're like giving back on 9/11. And he's the only, he apparently was the first player to jump up and do it. Like, he doesn't have to be there. He brought his mom. He was trying to get as many bags done as like he possibly could before yeah. he had to leave. Their PR team was like, you are done with the pictures. You've taken everything. Like, we can get out of here. He's like, I just got here. No way am I leaving. Like, send another bus for me because I'm going to still pack meals. That's Like, awesome. he's just somebody. And he has his own foundation, like the Flash Foundation. There's so many guys like this that, like, literally enter into the league and all they want to do is give back. And it's so cool to see. And That's we don't, we don't awesome. look at, we don't focus on that enough. Is, has there been, uh, this is totally, a totally different subject, but since you've been on NFL Network, have there been guys that blew it with you in college or out here that have slid in your DMs and be like, congratulations on the NFL Network. <laughs> Do you, like, want to hang out sometime? Or, like, did you ever want to, like, maybe get back together? I'm really sorry. I blew it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I wish that no. <laughs> really? Not really. What's it, have you, it, it, what's the difference between dating in, say, Atlanta or here? Oh gosh, it's a lot easier in Atlanta. The guys here are just, hmm, I mean. <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just that, like, I feel like. Maybe you can chime in. Yeah, like. Well, you dated some losers. Do you agree with her? <laughs> if, I did. I honestly God he did. Found, she found you. Correct. I mean, the night no, 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 sweats, the body I hair. Did, what what I more know. could you ask I know. for? Jeez, we really Burn, but really shoddy really burn. Well done. You locked out. Yeah, she hit the jackpot. Um, yeah. That's pretty big I did yeah. date some losers, but it is hard. And then you found I, the next host of Jeopardy. Correct. Right here. Right here. Yes. Then I realized that I needed to start falling for men or a man who I actually I actually liked spending time with men that had a man well, no I just kind of came to a, came to a point where I'm like I really enjoy being alone and then that's when I met him and at first I was like oh god the body hair and all this I stuff I love being by myself too but, oh god the body hair is the first thing you thought well, we've no, been married I mean, for three and, we've been married to, together for three and a half years over a year married and this is the first time I'm hearing that the body hair was the first thing you know what the first thing she got no, it wasn't she got a little first, drunk no, one time no that wasn't the first thing we could go back to the first thing but I'm trying to make this short what I'm saying is the first thing that she thought which we, the first time we hooked up is I took off my clothes and she goes oh man he's wearing boxer shorts it was my under 
underwear choice that was the Come first thing on, that she thought was a deal breaker. What grown man wears boxer shorts still? Sorry, guys, if you're wearing Taylor, boxers. Taylor, are boxer shorts a break or a deal breaker for Okay, well, so I wear boxer shorts to bed a lot. Oh, that's different. You look probably really cute, like very sexy in your boxer shorts. Different, different. Okay, okay. <laughs> Have you seen many men in boxer shorts as adults? Other than, like, say, your brothers, that's different. I feel like They're your mom buys their crazy. underwear, probably. <laughs> like, I guess, I think so. I don't know. I guess I just, I'm really I like not when seeing everything's that many tight. Men in their- I, I like when everything's tight. Like, keep it tight. <laughs> She's like, I'm not seeing that many men in their underwear. Uh, Let's what? Be uh, oh, crap. Uh, what's next? Da, da, da. Uh, but no, I finally just got to a point where I was like, you know what? I love spending time with him. I wanted to be with him all the time, and he made me laugh. Mm-hmm. So I was like, the stuff that would normally be be of concern to me like like, the body hair or the underwear or the bad shoe choice I just like decided to see (laughs) past it but I had to date a lot of shitty ones to be able to do that I guess my biggest thing is that I when I'm not at work like I don't put that much effort into my appearance I assume and I suppose, well, compared to like, do you work, think you look they, homeless? Well, no, I mean, like, I can't imagine you looking at, worse. Or work, like they do your hair and makeup. But like if I'm like out on the weekends, like I'm like ponytail and I like put like a yeah, little bit I of foundation. Yeah, but I think imagine like, that even in a ponytail, you some look guys really like, oh, cute. Let's look at this. I have. Yeah, I still imagine like, okay, it, no, no, let me get to I my mean, point. I'm just picturing you. I don't like girls. I'm clearly married to Josh, but <laughs> I'm picturing you in a ponytail with boxer shorts. You're like every man's dream. No, but. <laughs> I'm saying a lot of the guys here, like they spend a lot of time on themselves, probably more than I do, and so yeah. that's a little weird. I mean, look yeah. at I'm not the... saying I spend like maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should spend <laughs> a little more time on my or like a little more time on myself, but they definitely spend a little too much. Like, I agree, and I do think, and I don't mean I mean this in the best way, but if you met a guy who wasn't really into sports, I feel like he'd be very intimidated by you. Yeah. Totally. Really? And there's a lot of guys out here that are like, I don't really watch sports. I'm like, you're a dork. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I, know. I, think it's I love you, Cops. I love you, Thad. Yeah, you watch baseball. baseball. You spent like a life savings on a World Series <laughs> ticket. You texted me in guilt. Paul, my buddy Paul right here. Yeah, he, he, he reached out to you first. Like, please validate this Yeah, person. so you went to a Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you went to a Super Bowl. Did you feel bad about spending the money? I was like, no, I mean, it was a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and the Steelers won. Had they lost? Eh, I'd have been a little pissed about it. But, yeah. Um... It's it, the dating scene out here is very it's interesting. Different. Yeah, it's very. And different. it all depends on like also like what parts of town you're in. I used to live on the west side, so I felt like west side was way more my vibe and like the fact that yeah. it was very laid back and chill, and I could walk everywhere. It's like I would get my get home after work, and I would just like literally walk everywhere. I would never take right. my car unless I was going to work. Now I live in Beverly Hills, and I just feel like it's a little different. It's also kind of quiet over there, mm-hmm. but I do know a great spot that has like great happy hour Ooh. i always see cute guys sorry babe love you but you pointed this out too you even said this this has become like I I told, amanda's my, tinder over here i told my single girlfriends like you have to go here wally's in beverly Hills. oh i love I feel that like spot. You've been yeah there. okay but again the guys are Ooh. they losers see i just oh see God. them in their Ooh. suits and see, you're I was, just seeing you're see you've like you haven't talked to them you're talking to me your husband <laughs> I, that's what i mean uh, I, I haven't so maybe they like, sucked, oh. but, yeah Ugh, I'll tell you off camera listen, what I really think um, about it. But. Amanda's going to, she likes to do the fix up thing and I don't. I don't want to be part and we're responsible for that situation. It's so not, she recommends a guy to you more than likely is, you'll get married but I don't want to be involved in the situation if you oh, don't. Oh only gosh, when it happens right. and you'll be like, it was all me. Yes. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> I Thank totally you so did it. I'll give fix the best up. man speech. It's sure. not that I like to fix up but if I know two people who are single and also want to be in a relationship and I think that they would like do get along that? well, I. I'm like very happy right now. Is that weird? Like no, I'm very like no. you said, like you I were happy being, being alone. alone. But you're I love it. Are, your pa- are your parents putting like the screws to you? So my parents are both from up north. My oh. my dad is from Baltimore, yeah, and my both. mom is from Michigan, oh. Upper Peninsula, so Michigan. really far. That's up where my north. dad was born, the Upper UP. Really? Yeah. My, my mom's mom from Ann Arbor. Glads- really? Mm-hmm. My mom's Gladstone. Yeah. Like you. My mom like never Eskinaba, goes back. Michigan. She hates it. Yeah, Michigan. All right. Um, we're going to play a game tonight. It's called Name 100. Damashek, we are beating you yeah. right now. We need to get... It's on. We have five minutes to name 100 football players. We alternate. Cobster is going to keep count, or somebody's going to keep count of how many we get to. Yeah, yeah. So Take a deep breath. Oh, we yeah. We have time okay. for breaths. Keep count, but probably beat them. Oh. Uh, somebody's going to keep a uh, counter. Also, for the record, uh, um, Melvin, Melvin Gordon. Gordon 
Born and raised Kenosha, Wisconsin. Went to Wisconsin. Oh, good job! Yeah, I know some college football. Yeah. Um, I'd like to be a guest on the Taylor Brashotti podcast when it comes out. Talking, I don't, I don't know can we call it coming out with a podcast? Talking Taylor. Okay, Touchdowns I do kind of like. Oh, what's boom. up? I do kind of like the idea of a podcast, and with this Taylor could sound like kind of weird, Thomas. sexist. But made. like a podcast. That was the cover of our Georgia yeah. magazine this year about all broadcasters. But don't worry, it wasn't me on the front. I did make it in there, it but was, I wasn't on the front. It was Jonathan Taylor Thomas. It was Maria Taylor. Oh, bitch. But no, what about a podcast? It's okay. That did you is, say she's probably better? No, no, I said, I was like, bitch. I was like, she's probably nice. I'm just kidding. I, I'm sorry, Maria. I'm sure you're fantastic. I think a podcast that is for women like me who want to know more about sports and want to be more involved, but cannot listen to my screaming husband when he's watching a game and like yelling at the TV. Not in a bad way, but he's just super focused. And what half the, the time I'm like, I don't know what just happened. I mean... Like, like today I had to ask, I had to, someone asked a question whether a safety or a field goal was more points. And I was like, a field goal because they kick it after the touchdown, but that's an extra point. And like, yeah. so, so I maybe do. maybe you meant like, I, I see what you I meant. I meant the actual I know thing. Meant. I know what you meant. It kicked see, I, a field I, I goal, you. but it's not called that. But anyway, I, well, if there no, was a it, podcast that was mind. like for, <laughs> that was sort of like a sports podcast for women, I feel like there's nothing out there. And I don't mean that to sound like sexist. It could be for anyone who's just uh, not that knowledgeable in sports. I'm, so we're listening I'm to tired a, of hearing white dudes talk about sports all the time. I want women. Women. Yes. Yeah. I, I agree. Really? No. I agree. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See? Well, just I think, I mean, you. listen, I think it's an untapped I do market. want women because I feel like it's, I can relate to that more. So Even though you know episode, more than it'll me. It'll be Josh, but. Amanda, and I all together on a yeah. podcast. Yeah. Done. Yeah. The Bashad cast? Let's do it. <laughs> Damn. All right. In Italian, where you still need to go. We went on our honeymoon. There's a couple I pictures know. around it. Biscotti is your last name. They just want to call you when you land. All right. Let's do it. Name 100. We're going to start it. Well, how long do you get? We have five minutes, Ooh. don't we? Or is it four minutes? Five. Three? three minutes. Three minutes to name 100 football players. What? I think it was five. Let's I never meet saw in the Dave middle. Damashek, but I'm just giving us more time. We're going four minutes. Win. Four minutes. Clearly, I'm competitive. To name 100 football players. We're going to start with Taylor in three, two, one. Ben Roethlisberger. Antonio Brown. Joe Flacco. Le'Veon Bell. Juju Smith-Schuster. James Washington. Mike Wallace. Oh, I hate Mike Wallace. Dan Marino. Peyton Manning. Ryan Tannehill. Tom Brady. Rob Gronkowski. Oh, I was just about to say that. Julian Edelman. Uh, Danny Amendola. I was just, we're on the same, <laughs> we're on the same wavelength. We're going Justin through. Tucker. Uh, ooh, uh, Adam Vinatieri. Carlos Hyde. Frank Gore. Nick Chubb. Chris Fu, Amatu Ma'afala. I said that with David. Todd Gurley. Uh, Jared Goff. Melvin Gordon. Aaron Donald. Melvin Ingram. Akib Talib. Talib. Casey Hayward. Cameron Hayward. Okay. See how this gets hard? Yeah, it does. But, like, it's because I'm, like, Eli Manning. Uh, um, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. They don't be playing now, do they? No, it can be retired. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, We're at 30. Why am I playing? Three minutes. minutes Alex Collins. Uh, Alex Smith. Damn, you are good at this. You're so quick. Patrick Mahomes. Uh, Alvin Kamara. Mark Ingram. Drew Brees. Uh, Michael Thomas. Ooh, good one. Marcus Colston. Okay. Uh, Adam Phelan. Uh, Adrian Peterson. Kirk Cousins. Ooh, nice one. Uh, uh, Allen. What's his last? Jared Allen. Jared Goff. Oh, I said Jared Goff. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said him when you said Todd Gurley. Okay. Uh, oh, so uh, I still, do I still? You, you got Marcus go. Peters. Marcus Peters. Uh, Marcus Mariota. Matt Ryan. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, Julio Jones. I think I said Julio Jones. Did you say Julio that's Jones? Okay. Uh, 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 Alina Falcons. Uh, <laughs> Devontae Freeman. Devontae Allen. Devon. Uh, Dan Marino. No, Son of a. Is it Marino? Yeah, you said Dan Marino. Uh, <laughs> OJ Simpson. Oh, OJ, OJ Simpson. <laughs> Kyle Bowler. Oh, a little Raven. So Ray Lewis. Ray Rice. Ed Reed. 51. I can't believe you said Ray Rice. Oh, man, that's a brutal one. 
Um, Jamal Anderson. Jamal Charles. Hmm. Jamal. <laughs> We're not going to do Jamal. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what are we, what team? Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, uh, Bubby Brister, quarterback of Pittsburgh Steelers back in the day. Back in the day. 115. Oh. Um, okay, stop, on, you're giving on. me anxiety. What team should we go to? Sam Darnold. Uh, Joe Montana. Baker Mayfield. Joe Namath. God, you're really good at this, like going like quick off your. One minute, you got one minute. Troy um, Aikman. Troy Aikman. Emmett Smith. Uh, Keyshawn Jackson. Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson. We'll give you the Keyshawn. Uh, Marcellus Wiley. Um. How much time? You got 40 Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner. Kurt, uh, Isaac Bruce. Ladanian Tomlinson. Uh, Marshall Falk. Uh, how many are we at? 68. 68. Oh shit. Uh, Marshawn Lynch. Uh, Russell Wilson. Terry Bradshaw. Franco Harris. Oh my God, why are you so, okay, I get that. <laughs> Stop, go, we got 72. Michael Jerry Rice. Michael Vick. Uh, Jerry Rice. 15. Uh, Deshaun Jackson. Uh, Joe Theismann. Deshaun Watson. Lawrence Taylor. Uh, Who's the fridge? The refrigerator Perry. Two, one, that's it. We oh, get 79. Oh, okay, it seven. is kind of hard. Like when you're like stressed. I know, you're right? To think about I them told all. you, like, it's oh difficult. I was like, 87. That's so easy. Wait, by, by the way, do we have three minutes or four minutes? We had four. Four. Four, four I'll minutes. Check to see if Let's make four sure. Minutes, yeah. Let's double check right now. <laughs> Bashadi, it was good work. Oh. It was good work. All right. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? What's he going on here? Is that <laughs> Reynolds rap? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Oh, let's wrap it up. <laughs> wow. That's my producer. That's Paul Fury right there. Uh, we're going to do three minutes rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Can I get another glass of wine before this? <laughs> sure. In we're our just, coffee in, cups? In the, ro in the rosé. Uh, there's a rosé in the fridge. All right. Yeah, it was four minutes. It was four minutes. Oh, four minutes. Right over, yeah. yeah. You want another? No, no, I'm, I'm good. On that. I got whiskey. You good? Yeah. What team? Oh, you know, we, we didn't even head on those, the Bengals. We didn't hit Bengals. Not no at all. No Andy Dalton, no A.J. Green, no. No Colts. No Colts, Andrew Luck. We didn't even say Joe Thomas, for Christ's sake, your best friend. We didn't say Baker Mayfield. I we know. We didn't say Josh Gordon, any of the Browns. I'm telling you, when, it's, when it comes back What do you think about you? Josh Gordon? I, I, I hate. I don't know, I don't know how. Uh, this is perfect. I don't know. I hate to think that he's going to be awesome for the Patriots, but it's possible. Did say Tom Brady? Yeah, we said Tom Brady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we got three minutes. Know, right? Rapid fire questions. Taylor Bashadi, are you ready? In three, two, one. Better ice, ice tea or ice cube? Ice cube. Gum or breath mints? Gum. Netflix or Amazon Prime? I couldn't choose. Super salad. Soup. Babies or puppies? Puppies. Sweet or salty? Sweet. How many movies is Samuel L. Jackson in right now on his IMDb? <laughs> <laughs> on his IMDb, how many credits does he have? Like, currently in... in on, yes, right now. Like, total? Yeah. 72. 178 was the Holy correct Holy uh, Have you ever owned an aquarium? No. Is there a dark side to Hugh Jackman? <laughs> yes. Oh, beach or pool? Uh, beach. Oprah or Obama? Oprah. Did you have an imaginary friend as a kid? Absolutely. I still do. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, ever played a full game of Monopoly? Yes. Ever sneezed on anyone by accident? Yes. Uh, should a guy wear a cowboy hat ever? No. Thank you. Uh, ever taken a souvenir cup home from Las Vegas? Under two minutes. I've never been to Las Vegas. Whoa! I know! Whoa. Uh, Elton John or Billy Joel? Elton John. Ever had a, t did you have a teenage rebel phase? No, yeah. surprisingly. I could see that. Accounting major, University of Georgia. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, we are smart from there. <laughs> uh, are say? you a cuddler? With my dog. Heck yeah. I don't let him leave. Are you kidding me? He like tries to leave and I'm like, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Flip cover beer pong. I love them both so much. M&M's or Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces. NSYNC or Bat Street Boys? Uh, NSYNC. Go-to karaoke song? Don't Stop Believing. Oh, 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 little journey. That's my favorite band. Uh, you ever tried dog food? 
Okay, accidentally, but it was because it was a cookie, these like nice gourmet cookies that my mom gets at sick. They look just like human food. I've tried it all. Doesn't yeah. really matter. Uh, you ever been fired from a job? Yes. Metallica or Guns N' Roses? Uh, Guns N' Roses. Do you floss? Yes. Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? Britney Spears. Olive Garden or Outback Steakhouse? Outback Steakhouse. Is your MySpace profile still active? Did you have a MySpace? I did, and no, it's not. <laughs> I, had a, I had a joint MySpace with my best friend. Can a guy with, a chest, with chest hair wear a deep V? No. Good call. Uh, do you read your horoscope? Yes. You ever been arrested? No. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Would you go to Burning Man? Yeah. Huh. Uh, what was your AOL screen name? 28 seconds. Uh, TK Bashotti. Oh, that's it. Really basic. Yeah. Ice cream or frozen yogurt? Ice cream. Electric toothbrush, regular manual? Electric. Blue cheese or ranch? Ranch. Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. Wendy's or McDonald's? Wendy's. Do you sleep on your back, your side, or your stomach? Side. Uh, where do you want to get married? 10 seconds. Never. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to tie a bow tie? No. You ever been kicked out of a, bo a bar? Yes. Best fast food french fries? Uh, I don't know. Chick-fil-A. Could you date somebody with the same name? No. No, that's it! <laughs> Taylor Machani! <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. It was awesome. This was fun. Tell the people where they can find you. At Taylor Bashotti, another basic for both Instagram and Twitter, even double basic. Boom, boom. Oof. It's the easiest way to find people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hashtag at Josh McHugger for Jeopardy. All the links are down there, podcasts. The next Jeopardy host all right that's here. Right here. You heard it here first. <laughs> this is where it is. I have to host it here until they actually put me on stage. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on The Josh McHugger Show. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Go to Facebook, I'm also there. Support our Patreon campaign. If you're watching the Josh McCuga Show, you're doing something right. And that something right is giving random people hugs when they don't want them.